The name, Rothschild, conjures up images of unfathomable wealth and power. This famous family invented international finance, as we know it. Family patriarch Mayor Amschel Rothschild was the first of the famous finance family to run a bank. He established his banking business in the 1760s, and in 2005, Forbes recognized him as the seventh most influential businessman of all time. He is commonly regarded as the inventor of modern banking. He is the man who introduced concepts such as diversification, rapid communication, confidentiality, and high volume to the world markets. The Rothschilds were also involved in Brazil's bid for independence in 1820. Ever wondered what it would be like to own a park? The Rothschilds have it all covered. Gunnersbury Park was purchased in 1835 by merchant and financier Nathan Mayer Rothschild before he died. With the adjusted inflation, the park is estimated to be worth $3.3 million. The Rothschilds eventually extended their acquisition, buying out the land to the north of the park. The park and gardens were developed further, finally upgrading some features to include a rock garden, an 18th-century temple, a boathouse, and an orangery that had been restored. Brazil wanted to break free of Portugal's control and after many battles over this, Portugal agreed that Brazil could be an independent country if they paid a fee to the Portuguese government. However, the fee was $2 million sterling and was funded by Nathan Rothschild. Brazil was also required to take on a debt that the Portuguese government owed to Nathan's company. The Rothschilds collected the interest on both of these loans, increasing their fortunes from Brazil's independence. This was part of what gained them power. They not only accumulated wealth, but they also gained power. From its late 18th century beginnings until the early 20th century, the House of Rothschild was the greatest of the European banks. Its success was due not only to the financial skills of the partners but also to their innovative strategies in the sphere of kinship and marriage. The structure of the bank was dependent on the family's unique rules of succession and marriage. It was organized into five branches, each in a different country, originally directed by one of the founder's five sons, Mayor Amschel. The branches were linked by ties of fraternity, reinforced by repeated endogamous marriages. These marriages were normally contracted between the children of partners. Given the rule, established by Mayor Amschel, only the founder's sons and, later, their sons and sons' sons could become partners. The most common pattern was for a man to marry his father's brother's daughter. What is the Rothschild family's net worth? The Rothschild family was a family of five sons and their father who created a banking empire during the 1800s, and today the Rothschilds have a collective net worth of $400 billion. They are known as one of the richest families in the world and in history, the Rothschilds have become quite influential, although in the modern era, they are said to be less powerful than in previous generations. Today, the Rothschild family is still quite active in the business world, with significant interests in mining, financial services, real estate, agriculture, winemaking, and philanthropy. In 2001, one of the Rothschild mansions was put on the housing market for £85 million. At the time, this was the most expensive residential property in history. Built entirely out of marble, the 9,000-square-foot property is located at Kensington Palace Gardens in London. There is also Nathaniel Philip Rothschild who is the co-chairman of Atticus Capital, a hedge fund worth $20 billion. With the adjusted inflation rates, Rothschild's Waddesdon Manor is estimated to be worth $79.4 million. The manor, now a museum that boasts over 463,000 visitors a year, was originally a country house in the village of Waddesdon in Buckinghamshire, England. Also, Planet 9, a name derived from a hypothetical dwarf planet that revolves close to our outer solar system, is Rothschild's luxurious and ultra-expensive exploration yacht. With an estimated price of $102 million, Planet 9 is the most expensive yacht in the world. The yacht has space for over 16 guests, including the crew members. In addition, the lower deck has five guest cabins, with its main deck devoted to the owner's deck. There's also a theater room with an observation lounge that offers a panoramic view of the sea. Wealth and power sometimes can only come from two things, oil and gas reserves or mining corporations. 
With the Rothschilds' definitive list of investments, it's not difficult to imagine that they also have a mining corporation under their tutelage. The Rio Tinto Mining Corporation, the world's second largest metals and mining corporation, has an estimated value of $103 billion. Founded in 1873, the Rothschilds were able to expand the mining corporation through a long series of mergers and acquisitions. Rio Tinto itself has specialized its operations in refining bauxite and iron ore. The Rothschild Foundation, chaired by Jacob Rothschild, acts as its current custodian. The Rothschild family has over 1,800 real estate properties spread across England, France, Germany, and other European countries. The combined value of all these properties is over $36 billion. Not to be surprised, Anthony Gustav de Rothschild, 1887-1961, had a passion for exotic luxury automobiles. In March of 1934, Anthony ordered a matching set of Hispano Suisses, a K6 for formal occasions, and another other, a J12 for cruising around town. The two cars were ordered through Hispano Suiza's London agent, J. Smith & Company Limited, and were sent to Fernandez and Darren in Paris to receive the most striking bodies. The Rothschild Hispano Suizas were some of the most expensive cars of the day, costing $40,000 for the pair, equivalent to about £8,000 in 1935, about £300,000 today. They caused a sensation in London and were quite unlike anything else to be seen on the roads. Furthermore, Lady de Rothschild was fascinated by the materiality and contrast of modern design, a common thread throughout her collection. While her collection was heavily influenced by her travels to Japan, Victoria acquired pieces that moved her and which she loved. One notable lot from the collection is a pair of mirrored frames that feature a papier paint panel with birds and flower bouquets. The sale of the pair is estimated to garner between pound 40,000 to 60,000. As a modern-day empire, the family's total net worth and assets combined have been pegged in the $300 to $400 billion range. Rothschilds also own $14 billion dollars worth of bitcoins. Through direct and indirect means, the Rothschild family owns stocks in every major company in the world. The Rothschild family has a $100 billion dollar fund to invest in stock markets of major nations like the New York Stock Exchange, the London Stock Exchange, and also Tokyo. The Rothschild family has a reserve of over $20 billion in US dollars, $6 billion in Japanese yen, and $33 billion in euros. The Rothschilds have undoubtedly left their mark on the history of Europe, and their lavish palaces and estates across the continent stand testament to their incredible wealth and influence. Thanks for watching this video. Kindly subscribe to this YouTube channel for more videos.